The Steelers just got an unforgettable win on Christmas Eve against the Raiders. But before we get into tonight's post-game reaction video, I want you to go follow me on Twitter at Jack underscore Sperry right now for a chance to win a free Steelers jersey tomorrow. As tomorrow, we are going to be doing a giveaway for a free Steelers jersey of the player and color of your choice under $150. But if you want a chance to win that free Steelers jersey, go follow me at Jack underscore Sperry right now. What's good, Steeler Nation? My name is Jack Sperry, and this is Steelers Talk. Thanks for staying up late to talk some Steelers football with us, and what a game it was. 13-10 to in the Immaculate Reception game. It was a fantastic finish for the Black and Gold. Final score, 13-10. to Kenny Pickett leads a game-winning drive, concluding in a George Pickens touchdown pass over the middle in the end zone. It was a thing of beauty. It was, I mean, I was nerve-wracked the entire game, guys because the Steelers defense was playing their butts off. And this was really a game that I just felt like after such a disappointing 2022 campaign that the Steelers just couldn't lose this one, guys. Like, this was too important with Franco Harris passing this past week. They retired his number today, right? The 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. This was just too big of a game for the Steelers to lose. And at the end of the day, they got the job done. And I'm so happy to say that because it's been in such a turbulent 2022 season for Steelers Nation. But, but without further ado here, guys, let's get right into my game balls for today's game. Number one goes to Kenny Pickett. The rookie got the job done today, fellas. I mean, seriously, like he was, he looked really good in the elements today. Like he looked way better than Derek Carr. He, he outplayed Derek Carr by a lot today. 26 of 29. I, I actually think that's 26 of 39. That's my bad there. 20, 244 yards, one touchdown, and one interception today. He almost had another interception at the end of the game. He had some pit, he had some inaccurate throws. You know, he made some questionable decisions, but overall, the rook got the job done and he looked decisive. Like the I was worried about the hand size, his ability to grip the football. He seemed like he was firing those balls today and he handled the cold well. Very surprisingly in my opinion. Like, you know, before this game, the the, the coldest game that he played in was in the teens. This was b way below Below zero when you when you take into account the wind chill and all the stuff that was going on but he handled the adversity well I thought and I think that moving forward he's somebody that can handle these kinds of elements in Pittsburgh in Cleveland in Baltimore in the AFC East you have to be able to sling that ball in these kinds of conditions he did a good job today I'm gonna give him an A minus but I want to I want you to let me know in the comment section right now what grade you give Kenny Pickett's performance today against the Raiders now remember you got to take into account the weather. So I'm going to give him an A- minus because he did have some poor throws here and there, right? He almost had the, that's, that crucial second interception that uh, fell to the dirt fell to the turf, thank God, but I'm going to give him an A-. minus. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So whenever you get an ad break, just go right down to the comment section and answer today's question. All right, number two game ball goes to Pittsburgh's defense, the entire defense, because they were fantastic in this one. Derek Carr, I mean, sure, he wasn't throwing great today, lots of inaccurate passes, but the Steelers' defense absolutely got after it today. Only 10 points allowed, zero points in the second half, only 201 total yards allowed to the Raiders today. Three sacks, uh, Alex Highsmith had a really big one, Cam Hayward had one early, and then three turnovers, which was really the difference in the game. I mean, you got you got Minka getting involved at the turnovers. I think uh, Mallette had an incredible interception, that bobble interception, and then I think Cam Sutton finished it out with that closer there at the end. And this was Pitt's uh, best game of the, of the year defensively, right? Everybody showed up. The pass rush was there. They stopped Jacobs. They kept him to, I believe, under 50 rushing yards, which is really, really difficult to do uh, against the Raiders. And then Devontae Adams was pretty much absent for the entire game. So I really liked what I saw from the Pittsburgh Steelers defense today, I think it was their best game of the year. I think, I think they were just fantastic. And you know what else is fantastic? Our new sponsor here at Chat Sports, which is called Rocket Money. It's formerly known as Truebill. Now, I'm somebody that, you know, I, you, know you get a subscription, a monthly subscription. You think you're going to use it all the time. And then a year passes, two years pass. You're not using it anymore, and you're still paying for it. 
But what's, what's great about this app is that it shows you all of your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions that you didn't even know that you were paying for, and you may even find out that you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription on Rocket Money, all you have to do is press cancel on the Rocket Money app, and they're going to take care of the rest for you. Get rid of use of subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney slash Steelers Talk uh, to you know help out your pocketbook, but also help out the channel a little bit, guys. You know, for me, it's helping me save hundreds of dollars because I'm one of those people that forgets about these kinds of monthly subscriptions all the time. So since I started using Rocket Money, I'm saving a ton of money, and with inflation, you know, it's hard on everybody's pocketbook right now. So it's always good to have that extra cash uh, uh, at your disposal. So at the end of the day, guys, go to rocketmoney.com slash Steelers talk uh, to help out the channel but also help your pocketbook. All right, third game ball goes to George Pickens, the man himself that got the game-winning touchdown. And man, you know, it was great to see him kind of blossom a bit more today, right? Five receptions, which isn't a ton, but it was, it was good enough, 57 yards, and then to see him get the touchdown, right? To see him get the target in the red zone. Finally, Matt Canada targeted this kid in the red zone. He should be targeting him all the time. He hasn't been doing it a ton this year, but when it really mattered most, when the Steelers needed a touchdown, they, di they dialed up a play for this kid, and he delivered. Kenny Pickett threw a great pass to him, and that moment, guys, with you know the two rookies, Pickett to Pickens, you know that's you know it's kind of like the pass or the future honoring the past. It was just an incredible moment for Steelers fans, for the Steelers franchise, and George Pickens, man, he's an incredible talent. This isn't the only special touchdown and, and really special moment that we're going to see in his career, in my opinion, but. Let me know in the comments section, what is your one word reaction to today's game against the Las Vegas Raiders? For me, my one word is unforgettable. I think this is a game that's going to live in Steelers Nation, you know, in the history of the Steelers franchise for a long time. Even though this is a season that's pretty much lost, I mean, sure, if they win the next two games, they might make the playoffs, but the chances are really low. But, you know, on Franco Harris Day, like the Immaculate Reception 50th anniversary to win that way, it's an absolutely it was an absolutely unforgettable experience as a Steelers fan, in my opinion. All right, guys, it is time to subscribe to the channel here. Subs for Dubs, we won this week. It was an unforgettable victory. So help us celebrate here at Steelers Talk by subscribing to the channel. We provide daily and free Steelers news and rumors content. We got a bunch of draft stuff coming up. We got a bunch of free agency stuff coming up. So if that's your thing, you want to join our community of fantastic Yinzers that are passionate about the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise, consider subscribing to the channel today. And finally, guys, the last game ball goes to Franco Harris, or at least to, the Fra to, to Franco's family, right? I, it, this was just an incredible tribute to Franco Harris today, guys. You know, it was, it was such a, a gut punch to Steelers Nation when we found out that Franco Harris had passed this week, and knowing that this was going to be the 50th anniversary game of the Immaculate Reception, you know, knowing that the Steelers were going to retire his number, I mean, it just had so much emotional juice coming into the night, and then to be able to win it for Franco that way, for the Steelers fans, you know, for everything that, that this game represents, right, it was just a beautiful tribute to one of the greatest Steelers legends that there is, and, you know, it was just a fantastic experience. All all right, guys, go in the comments section right now and help us honor Franco here uh, by typing that was for 32, right? This game was for number 32. It was for Franco. So go in the comments section and spam that was for, for 32 as many times as you want. All right, guys, now a bit uh, of an injury update here. Trey Norwood, uh, the safety, he left the game pretty early here in the first half with a hamstring injury, did not return. We don't have any more kind of update on his status moving forward, but even when he was in the game, he wasn't actually that great, and then when he was out, the defense was actually playing uh, uh, quite a bit better, so, uh, you know, that's not a dig at Trey, nothing like that. You know, hopefully he gets better, hopefully he gets a speedy recovery, uh, but, you know, today's performance from him was not that great. All right, guys, here's one more more reminder for you guys to go subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers here on the channel. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, guys, this was a great Steelers victory. I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace, guys.